Hi, Leo. It's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's do it. Thank you, God, for blessing Leo with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so let's see how you're coming into the week, Leo. How is okay? Temperance card could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Um, just, you know, tempering your emotions. If it's good, it's going good. If it's bad, it's probably still the same way. It's just about you having your, you know, um, foot. Okay, hold on. Um, Page of Wands with the Five of Swords coming out. People could be jealous of you, jealous of how you dress, how you look, how you act, just your whole personality, your whole persona. It's just like you, you're really not even focused on these people. They're definitely focused on you, maybe even focused on tearing you down, slander. Um, yeah, Six of Pentacles. This could be abuse, abuse from... An authority figure to maybe a, a younger person or maybe an employee. This is somebody yielding power over another person. Holding back either money, resources, or their emotions. Somebody being very dominant, domineering. Somebody uses sex as a weapon also. Somebody's making the choice to not communicate, be disagreeable, have misunderstandings and miscommunication. This is terrible. Um, okay. What's the advice here for Leo? So you need to do something. The Queens are doers of the Tarot. Queen of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles came out. So you need to maybe um, close your emotions down. You don't need to give anything out. You need to try to withdraw. You need to develop yourself. Self-development here. You have some psychic, intuitive nature about yourself. You need to be more focused on self. With the Queen of Pentacles also. You have dreams, wishes, ideas. Many layers to your personality. But you need to make something real. It's a lot of dreams. A lot of dreamy energy. But not making it real here. What is the outcome if Leo takes the advice of the cards? Somebody needs to learn how to be a better person, be more caring, more loving, care about the children, the house. The house is untidy or something. I don't know. What is the advice? Excuse me. What is the outcome? Outcome. Okay. The fool card. So going in a new direction, something new developing for you in your life. You'll follow your dreams. Some of you, you, you feel stifled and stagnant where you are. And you feel like you're around petty, drama-filled people. And it's probably, it may be that you are around those types of people because you're not following your true aspirations, your true dreams. It's like you, you, you won't make something real. If you want this to be what it is you do, you need to go after it. Um, you need to learn how to monetize it. Money's coming in, but money's going out just as quickly. Um, you might even need to save up for this thing or this large purchase here. It says that if you make a choice of doing this or you just take the leap of faith, um, it can really pan out well for you. Something about your gifts and sharing your gifts and what you're good at. Maybe the gift of gab or, or drama or tea or I don't know. Um, you get a lot of people coming at you, though. Let's see what this is about. Uh, yeah, fear of missing out. This might even be fear of, of launching, like failure to launch also. Yeah, complacent. But you know you want to be doing something else. You know you want to go after something else. This is an orange card, so it's about your passion. It's about what your drive, your desire is. Wow, you know that this thing 
makes you happy. So you need to go out. You need to go after it. You'd be leaving it out or something's leaving you out. You're not giving enough time to something. You need to get more time to it. Yeah. Or you're going to start to give more time or money or put more money into it. You're a fast thinker. So you need to capitalize on that. Do know that you're strong enough. Yeah. So this is more so about you. You going after your dreams. You making something happen. You're in a place where you're unhappy. Maybe you're in a work environment where it just doesn't foster your creative side. And it makes you feel stifled. You just feel like you want to jump out of a window every time you go there. And these people are horrible to you also. Or somebody's horrible to you. Um, and it's because you need to. It's prompting you and pushing you to follow your dream. So that's what I have for you. Okay, let's get one of these. This is. These are the. Um, I think these are. The all up in your business cards or something like that. So this is about career and finance and business with these cards. Let's see. What do you want to tell Leo? Yeah, trust your gut. Your body knows the truth. So I'm saying you feel horrible when you go here. You have flow. Let go of control. You're trying to be too controlled and do what, you know, um, maybe society tells you you need to do. You need to have that nine to five. You need to do this and do that. You're not really going after your dreams. Um, and it's just causing for you to ooh, be disgruntled. Yeah. Um, yeah, your core values. Hone in on your purpose and values. Purpose. And then also what flipped out was prioritize. Pick one thing. Maybe you're trying to do too much. Or you're trying to incorporate too much into one thing. You just got to scale it back and scale it down. And you need to prioritize. We did have El Cheapo fallout. So it's like maybe you're not giving enough time to it. You're not prioritizing your dream, your business, your aspiration. You need to prioritize it. This is what I have for you, Leo. If it resonates for you, go over to the website, book there, ask a question or two by texting your question to the number below. Catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you. Take care. Many blessings to you.